so that includes monogamy polygamy and promiscuity so these are particular mating systems that are associated with different organisms so monogamy deals with mating system between one and one so there is one female and one male and they mate for life you know so there is no exchange of multiple individuals polygamy is one too many so one particular individual can mate with multiple individual promiscuity is selectional polygamy you know promiscuity is where many can mate to many so there is no fixed situation okay so you can easily remember in this way that monogamy is one on one where one particular female is dealt with one particular male throughout his life now there is polygamy where one individual is meeting with many individuals that can be either male or female okay and so on but promiscuity is where there is no or open sexual structures and there is no restriction with whom meeting whom okay so uh, polygamy can be of different types where we are talking about polygyny polyandry and polygynandry so as the name suggest polygyny refers to multiple females poly means multiple and there is female so here uh, there is one male and multiple female okay polyandry as the name suggests there is one female and there are multiple males and in polygynandry it's a system where one particular male can mate for multiple females and sometimes females mate for multiple males as well yeah, so the, both of the situation happens in one particular breeding season so that is called polygynandry and it is prominent in chimpanzees and few pro other promiscuous groups so the difference between promiscuity and polygynandry is promiscuity does not have a fixed situation okay whereas a polygynandry have a fixed situation where in a particular group males have been more prominent to see and meeting with multiple females and few groups have been showing uh, one particular female meeting with multiple males so it is fixed but it's not prominent whereas promiscuity is it happens more prominently and in that sense it is open so multiple mates can multiple so multiple mates can be formed in one particular breeding season whereas in one particular breeding season one particular group of mating is formed in polygynandry now when we talk about sperm competition is a part of both polygyny and polygynandry where when multiple males mate with a particular female multiple males are mating with a particular female what happens is uh, when multiple kind of sperms are present in that female tract they'll compete with each other now it can happen in a polyandry situation or polygynandry situation also in promiscuous situations so there are multiple situations where multiple males can mate for a particular female and hence there will be sperm competition now apart from that a polygyny might have different kind of situations where it could be resource defense polygyny i mean as i was talking about few females come with particular resource okay few females come with particular resource so there are multiple resource that a female is associated with now it can be a particular uh, you know area it particular particular uh, presentation of brood it could be particular characters so so when a male is conjuring that particular female groups then it is producing more and more territory i mean it like it when it is mating with multiple females then it has a larger territory in that group so hence it shows that multiple resources are required by a particular male and hence multiple resources can be produced by the females like this is particular system that you will be prominently seeing lions a female is able to produce a large number of you know uh, food provisions and when a male has control over multiple females it is plausible that they have a larger territories okay then there is harems harems are the situations where uh, one particular male controls multiple females and it is also called as female defense polygyny yeah so in this situation it is just producing or protecting that particular females so it is specifically brooded for mating yeah so male uh, protects and mates with multiple females so this is a situation where it is for female defense it defends multiple females whereas in this situation it is defending female that are producing and giving out resources okay so that is the difference between resource defense polygyny and harems uh, harems are specifically maintained and made by males where they mate with multiple females and it is solely for reproduction whereas in resource defense polygyny 
a male is getting the benefits of multiple resources which is provisioned by the females hence when it takes over a particular female group it is also getting the resources that the female can provide and in lex lex where are multiple males try to mate with a particular female okay all of them come together and it is pretty prominent in black bugs uh, sage grouse uh, birds so you'll see multiple mates uh, coming and trying to mate with a particular female okay and that is prominent in multiple groups as well now this is also seen in case of uh, fruit flies where all of them try to woo the female all together at a time okay and it is also prominent in prickers where they all of them come together and dance around yeah so it is pretty prominent and legs are specifically those where are multiple males okay multiple males are trying to mate with females now when they end up wooing one particular female they'll move on to female number 2 okay all of them will move on together few of them will be uh, you know uh, kind of wooing this one so a particular female will be wooed by multiple males then there is resource defense polyandry same situation where a female selects particular males and all of them consist of particular uh, territorial situations or resource benefits that they give so uh, there are multiple situations where males uh, attain a territory and when we uh, mate with multiple males they are getting benefits of multiple territories as well okay the so females are getting provisioned by multiple territory situation and they are being defended by multiple males so this is what resource defense polyandry is and then there is cooperative polyandry cooperative polyandry talks about when a female uh, lays a particular cast sort of brood let's say it has you know uh, six sex and in that there are multiple males male 1 male 2 and male 3 is x so none of them know which kind of x that so all of them provision that so they cooperate with uh, each other and provision that particular x so this is called cooperative polyandry and this is these kind of mating systems are prominent and seen in different birds and organisms and other kind of invertebrates as well now you can go through and find all the examples and that is up to you to find all the examples that you can find but getting the basic idea is to be needed here and if you don't understand that you can always ask so these are usually called as mating systems and also sometimes referred as mating strategies now these are usual things that our organisms evolutionary does right but there are few other evolutionary alternative aspects also called as alternative mating strategies and that simply refers to the fact that few organisms and few males basically have this sort of ability to produce different morphs okay so in a particular scenario in a particular species there might be let's say morph a and morph b now morph a have a different ability for mating okay and morph b has a different ability for mating so the strategy will be different here it's not mating systems are different but in the sense their strategy to mate is different like for a uh for example a might go for mating by facing direct competition okay let's say the morphs of a are more aggressive hence they will be more into competing while a morph of b would be more over like they are you know more cooperative so that sort of system can happen in case of sometimes there is exchange of multiple alternative strategies okay apart from that there may be multiple uh, scenarios like few example in puppy fishes Uh, what happens in guppy fishes is uh, their males have two different types one is you know larger in size and two is smaller in size b is smaller in size okay there are two species one is larger or let's say we are call it l and this is called as smalls so because of the different kind of predatory pressure uh, in the area which has low predators usually have larger species or larger males or larger individuals okay and the ones where the predator pressure is more they have smaller individuals but the thing when mating season comes they get all together here now the thing is the problem is there are two types of morphs a large and a small so they both have them have different kind of mating strategies what uh, they do is the large one as because of the size are getting selected but sometimes what happens the small ones sneak behind in okay and reproduce as well so both of the genes are being transferred only the medium wala genes are not being transferred okay a large wala is getting selected by because of its size but small walas are also getting in and are able to mate it's like they are sneaking and mating and going okay as because of their smaller sizes they're not 
spotted well and large ones cannot fight them okay so in this situation you can see that these are alternative mating strategies if you can fight it fight it if you can't defend it uh, cooperate if you can't defend or cooperate or do anything sneak in cheat and do whatever so these are multiple or alternative strategies which depend on which kind of uh, systems they are utilizing okay so within even in one particular system there might be multiple strategies and within multiple strategies one can go from the usual evolutionary ones which have been sustained which have been developed by selection or sometimes also provide multiple evolutionary adaptations or multiple alternative strategies yeah